Hey everybody, it's me, Kosh Wolf, and today I would like to introduce a new series to you guys that I'm going to be doing here on this channel. And before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that today's video is being sponsored by Soulfeel. And Soulfeel is a website that does custom and personalized jewelry like rings, bracelets, and necklaces. So I want to take a quick second to take a look at their website and also show you some little things that I received from the website. And I think that it was kind of like a good setup in this video because uh, we are actually going to be talking about wearing magic in this video. And this is going to be my new series. It's called Wearing Magic. And in this video, we're going to be talking about jewelry. So here's the website called Soul Feel. And I really actually enjoy this a lot. Something that I've come to realize is that this website has a lot of very nice jewelry that is very affordable. And I did receive this ring, which you guys are going to be getting a closer look at in a second. And I also received this necklace, which is a nameplate that says Akasha. And right now, this nameplate is on sale for $15.95. And you can have anything put on there. You can have your name, you can have the person who cares about name, you can have um, your child's name, anything. And for mine, they did Akasha. So let's take a quick look at some of their other stuff. Now something that I really wanted to show you guys that I think is super awesome are their charms. They have these different personalized charms and you can even get pictures done on them. Now something that I notice about these charms is that they are very similar to the Pandora bracelets which I think are super cool. I actually have one. My boyfriend bought me one. But I noticed that their charms are very affordable. Even their bracelets are very affordable and they are so pretty and unique. They have charms that are nothing like the Pandora bracelet ones. And I think that if you do have a Pandora bracelet, then this is something you can mix and match with. And let's say you were interested in getting it, but you can't afford it, which honestly, I have a hard time affording some of the charms. This would be a good place to pick up a really nice, affordable bracelet that's going to be just as pretty and be very unique because there's something else that they have that I really, really love. And that's these customized charms where you can get a picture done. And that's something I've never seen with other bracelets. Personally, I haven't seen. But you could get your pet put on there, you can have family members put on there, or you know, just people you care about. Like some of these are super, super pretty. Like look at that one. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And lockets and stuff, they have a lot of really nice unique jewelry. Now, I'm gonna give you a closer look at this ring I actually received that I absolutely love. I loved it a lot more than I thought I would. And that's why I think videos are very helpful when it comes to this, because you get to see the jewelry like almost in real life, I guess you could say. You get to see how big it is. And they have more than just, you know, necklaces, bracelets, and rings. They also have earrings as well. Now let's get to the rings though. I actually received a promise ring and I absolutely love it. When you look at it on the, the phone or the website, it doesn't look, I feel like it doesn't give it justice because this is way prettier than I thought it would be. Like, it looks pretty on the site, but when you actually have it, you actually get to see it, you get to see how beautiful it is. And it, the best way I can, I can describe it is kind of like dainty in a way, but it's super pretty, I love it. So as you can see, you can customize just about everything on this ring. You can customize the stones, like if it's you know going to be used as a promise ring, you can have your birthstone or your boyfriend's birthstone put on there. And then you can have an engraving done on it, which is super awesome. And they, they also have different fonts. So you're able to pick a different color stone for each one. And then you can pick your engravings and write what you want to say on the top and the bottom and also what you want down on the inside. And again, this is very affordable. Like, I am super 
happy with the price of this stuff. And then look at these different fonts. I actually had mine done in Old English. So let me give you a quick look on what mine looks like on here. And then I'll show you what it looks like in real life, which is like so pretty. So something else that I found super awesome is that you get to actually see like, you know, the draft of your ring so that you know what it's going to be looking like when you receive it. Now on here it looks a lot bigger, but this is what I had done. I had the top one done with a white stone and the bottom one done with a black stone. And the reason for that is me and my boyfriend have this whole thing with black and white. And we both love black and white, our motorcycles are black and white. And he seems to be more attracted to the color white and I'm more attracted to the color black. So, or if you would want to call black a color when it's not, but whatever, we're not getting that deep. Um, so I put his name, how he has his, on his channel as Boss in Old English in like caps, super pretty. And I got Akasha on the bottom. And in the inside of the ring, it says, don't die. And the reason why it says that is because he's always telling me that I'm not allowed to die. And basically he wants to keep me forever and he doesn't want me to die. And I don't want him to die either. So <laughs> that's why we got that put in the middle. So now let's take a quick look at mine. But I did want to point something out that I think I would like a little bit differently on this website. And it is the ring sizes. The ring sizes are like, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the reason why I have a little bit of an issue with that is my finger is like a 6.5 in a way. They don't have half sizes. So my ring is slightly a little bit bigger than what I would prefer because I feel like if I wave my hand hard enough, the ring is going to fly off. But other than that, this website is super awesome and I love the jewelry they have on here. Now let's take a closer look at some of the jewelry I received from the site. So here we have the necklace nameplate that I got. It's gold plated and it says Akasha. Now something that I really like about this is that it's so, it's not super small but it's like a very nice size. It's got like that daintiness to it. It looks pretty and elegant and stuff. That's what I really like about it. It's not something that's very big and bulky. But if you look over here, you can actually change the size. So here we have this end right there, and then you have one there, and there, and there. So you can make this into like, in a way, I guess you could say like a choker or something, but it's so freaking pretty and cute. I don't wear gold all the time, but I do have outfits that have like, you know, little pieces of gold here and there, and I feel like this would go perfectly with it. But it is super, super pretty. They also have silver and some other, you know, different pretty pendants and stuff. But you can get anything put on this. It's so pretty. Now, something I thought was really cool too is right here. They have the Soul Feel little logo, which you find right here. So if you guys are interested in checking out Soul Feel, please check any of the links down below. And if you do decide to purchase, you can use my coupon code AkashaG115 to get 15% off your purchase. So you guys, I hope you check it out. All the links for everything that I actually do have is down below so you guys can make your own custom jewelry. Alright, now let's get into this video. So. As I've been doing videos, I keep on getting the question over and over again about my rings. And it's it's weird. It's like my jewelry in general I've been getting a lot of questions about. And my rings is one of the things that I'm always getting asked about because I'm always wearing them. I wear them so much that I literally have like, whoo, I almost lost one. I literally have like a mark on my finger from wearing my rings so much. Like you can see the discoloration and everything from wearing my ring like every single day. Now something that I have mentioned before in like my live stream, which by the way you guys went super awesome and I plan on doing more and also at different times so that, that way people from around the world can watch, 
we had a blast. We had so much fun. Terrible thing is YouTube's algorithm and everything they're doing to protect different stuff from all kinds of stuff has like kind of screwed over the channel a little bit, which isn't a big deal, you know? Like, because of you guys, I get these sponsored videos and you guys make it possible for me to be able to, you know, support this channel as best as I can and to support what we have going on here and I really appreciate that. Make sure I take a moment to thank you guys for that at the end of the video. But we were having all kinds of awesome conversations, you know, stuff that's life related and nothing that, we had um, magic related stuff, but we, we talked about everything. And YouTube had basically flagged the video in a way, making it to where it doesn't receive as many ads as other videos because we supposedly talked about something inappropriately or something. I don't know what it was, but I don't know, maybe we were, because we were talking about babies or something, and, and Tom, that's what I think it probably was. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So, I decided, while I talk to you guys about my jewelry and why I wear certain things that I wear, um, I'll give you, like, the basics on jewelry, and the magical properties and purposes and stuff of jewelry, and wearing magic. So that's how I feel what jewelry is. Like it can be another way of wearing magic, another way of ritual in a sense. And it can be the same thing with your clothes. Different colors of your clothes can mean something and bring a certain energy towards you. And sometimes when I do my hair, I do my hair a certain way to because I incorporate numerology in my hair. And I'll even put different things in my hair like feathers for like freedom and even protection. And there's like a little piece that I made for my hair that I'll be talking to you guys about in another one of these videos for this series. Now, let's talk about the jewelry part. So, I wear two rings all the time. And now, I'm going to be wearing this third ring that I received from Soulfield Jewelry all the time too, because this is super pretty and I love it. That's not me just, you know, receiving this and I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll do a video for it. No, I actually really love this. I'm going to be wearing it all the time. So this is another one of those ones that you're going to be seeing on my finger a lot. So this ring right here, which you'll get to see a lot closer, I received this one from my mother. And if you know something you'll notice is that I really love the, I believe it's filigree detailed rings. They kind of have a little bit of that old fashioned look. I think one of these was like Edwardian and the other one might be Victorian. I don't know. It's not like legit um, antique or anything. This one is though because this one, it's not super antique, it's, it's old, but whatever. Um, in the center we have a diamond and on the sides we have blue sapphire. And my birthstone is actually blue sapphire, but I've never really liked it when I was growing up because you always want what you can't have or what isn't necessarily yours. So my birthstone was sapphire, and my sister's birthstone was emerald, which is green. And I was always mad that hers was green because at the time I loved green. And then she was mad that mine was sapphire because at the time she loved the blue. But then it changed. I just grew this attraction to the blue, and I love blue, the dark, deep, awesome blue. And that's basically why I ended up with sapphire rings for the most part, blue sapphire. Now, something that you need to know about jewelry in general is originally jewelry was like worn for protection for women, you know, because a lot of times there's people who received, you know, the evil eye, which we've discussed before, and whenever a woman's earring or any of her jewelry would fall off, that means that that particular moment someone was giving her the evil eye and the earring or the jewelry got rid of it. It kept it from hitting her so then it drops off because it's like getting rid of that negative energy. And it's basically like the same thing. Like you can see it as the same thing now but that was kind of like when you know jewelry was first round like that was kind of like its thing. And also you know status and royalty and stuff like that but that was one of you know the purposes of jewelry. Now, something that you need to know about silver, which, as you can see, I wear a lot of silver. And I received this necklace, which I showed you from Soulfeel, or Soulfeel, <laughs> and it's gold. 
which gold also has awesome magic properties as well. But with silver in particular, silver is for protection and it kind of has the look of a mirror so it reflects negative energy. And that's another thing that I really love about silver. And something else is different stones in your jewelry can also bring different energies and properties. And I do have a pendant that is being customly made um, by this amazing artist and um, we're supposed to be doing a collaboration here soon. And she is putting very particular stones into it that I really love, that I feel very great for protection and stuff. But don't want to get off subject, which we will probably be coming back to this subject in that video when that happens. But anyways, so let's find out what sapphire does for you. Now, when it comes to your jewelry too, and as a witch, the thing is, is like for me in particular, um, I've been very busy lately. As you guys can tell, I haven't been doing that many videos. It hasn't been because of YouTube and everything. It's just I haven't necessarily had the time. I've actually been going to school for dealing right now. That's not what I wanted to do originally. I had something else in mind. I'll tell you about that another time. So something that I really like to do since I don't have the time to constantly, you know, do a ritual or constantly, you know, give thanks and stuff for energies and spirits and everything. I actually have little things like my hair and my jewelry as kind of everyday magic that I get to have. That's what these pieces are to me. They're pieces of magic and they're forms of protection. You know, I can't always do a protection spell or something or smudge all the time. These for me are my protection. And I have actually blessed my pentacle and my rings. Let's get into what my rings in particular do. So when it comes to sapphire, sapphire is really good for intuition and spiritual energy in general. It's really good at kind of clearing the mind and keeping it open and to receiving messages. It's a very good like kind of psychic stone. That's what the main thing for sapphire is that I really like and enjoy. You can read more about it but we will be going over it in one of our crystal videos and a lot more detail because you know with the crystal videos I get in pretty deep detail but that's one of the reasons why I really do enjoy sapphire but this one is a necklace that you guys have seen on me for years on my channel I've always had this necklace and I have charged this necklace and I do have um, the spell that I used to charge it and that it was actually one that was in a book when I was kind of getting more into trying to do spells but I didn't know how to make my own. Um, it came with like a charm in the book that I actually did and it was specifically for Pentacle and I did that to this. This necklace I rarely ever take off. It's like on me at all times. I even shower with it. But when it comes to this necklace, I'm always wearing it and it's it hasn't tarnished which I'm very surprised like it hasn't gotten like that dirty look or anything I wear it all the time all right you guys so as I was recording I noticed I kind of went a little off track so I just wanted to touch on a few things that I think would have been really awesome to know and pretty important when it comes to wearing magic uh, being you know jewelry wise so for those of you who have seen it around a lot. Something that's very popular when it comes to wearing something for a particular purpose, that would be hematite. Hematite, you see a lot worn by like everybody. They'll have it as a bracelet or they'll even have it as a ring. Like it's literally sold everywhere, not just metaphysical shops. Uh, it's great for balancing energy and drawing out negative energy. If it takes in too much energy, it actually breaks. I've seen this happen like before my eyes and I've heard other people tell me about their experiences when it comes to hematite. Um, like I even heard someone bring up the fact that they stepped into a room and they kind of felt like it was filled with negativity and just very thick and then their ring broke. And I'm like, holy crap, that's like super interesting. But it blew my mind. Hematite has some really awesome qualities, but its main thing is drawing out negative energy. It's also really great for the mind and it helps 
balance you. It helps with memory, focus, concentration, basically the same thing. <laughs> it's a great healing stone and it's very calming. Now, a couple of other things to keep in mind when it comes to jewelry is the different type, type of metals that you wear. Another very common bracelet that you might see on people are copper bracelets. You might see those in metaphysical shops. I know that in my local shops like Psychic Guy, for example, they have like a basket filled with copper bracelets. And copper is a great conductor of energy and spiritual energy, which is why I chose to use it in my smudging feather. So to have a copper bracelet with like a crystal or something, it helps enhance those properties within the crystal. And it helps your like body, your aura, your energy to take in all of that, what the crystal is supposed to do for you or, you know, help out with. So something that a lot of people do claim when it comes to the copper bracelets that like, it's kind of like a little infomercial thing that you might see is that a little bit of the copper rubs off onto the skin. The skin absorbs it because, you know, the skin absorbs like a lot of stuff. And apparently it's supposed to help with arthritis and relieving joint pain and grow cartilage. And I don't know how true that is, but I plan on looking more into it because I do want to do specific videos on each individual um, metal so that you get to know about all the magical properties. And now let's get into some of the more common metals that you see people wear like every day. And those metals are silver and gold. Me personally, I'm a giant fan of silver and white gold. I'm not the biggest fan of yellow gold, but white gold, absolutely love it. I think I might possibly love it more than silver, but I don't know. So the thing about silver and gold is gold is something that represents power. You would see, you know, of course, rich people and also in Egypt, they would cover themselves in gold. Gold is just has this powerful, like kind of, it's hard to describe. It's, it has a powerful energy to it. And gold represents the sun. And silver represents the moon. So they are like perfect opposites. And when it comes to wearing gold, it is like one of those hardcore metals that have like everything. Because it does have a little bit of silver and other metals within it. So it's literally the metal of everything. And it holds a lot of power. It's also known to be the master healer. Uh, it represents the sun, like I said before, and it's extremely healing. It helps with your third eye and your crown chakra and all kinds of thought forms. Now, when it comes to silver, which is one that I wear a lot, it's supposed to be able to detoxify the body. But again, you know, don't try to just use that to detox your body. And it also represents water and it's like the best when it comes to protection. I absolutely love wearing silver and especially having a silver pentacle. I do feel that it is like the supreme of protection. Silver is very, very great for protection. But keep in mind, there is so much magic when it comes to jewelry from wearing bracelets on certain wrists to having different stones close to your heart as a necklace and wearing different rings on particular fingers to mean something or represent something or help with you know daily things like courage or energy but yeah you guys let's get on with the video you can do all kinds of stuff when it comes to jewelry and basically using jewelry to bring magic into your life and i do want to make some spells and stuff for jewelry in particular because i think that would be super cool and i don't know i feel like there's not a ton of spells like that that are out there a lot of the ones that i've seen are like the mermaid spells and vampire spells and stuff like that like wear this to be a mermaid or something like that and i have seen some like the money charms and stuff but i think that's all i can think of for right now to share with you guys when it comes to the jewelry that i wear all the time i have a bunch of different things that sometimes i'll pop on here and there like, I even have pentacle earrings, which again, like this, is for protection. This is my protection, and I feel like um, there's something that I was always taught, and it was to have a symbol of power. And this, to me, is my symbol of power. 
So this right here is my, I don't know, it's hard to describe, it's just, mm, I love this and it's my protection, my energy, and I don't even know if I would even want to let go of this in the future, because you know how usually you can pass something like this on to like, you know, your child, but I don't even know if I could see myself doing that. I kind of wonder if like if I did pass. I'm wondering if I would want to be buried with it or something. I don't know if I could give it up because I really love this. I had one before that I was really attached to, but I lost it. Whenever you do receive jewelry as a gift, that is like some of the best protection you could possibly have. But yeah, you guys, I think that I do want to do another video on wearing magic with different things like clothes and other stuff, but also like I'll probably redo this jewelry one so that that way I can answer some of your guys' questions because I'm pretty sure that you didn't expect me to do something like this because I haven't seen anything like this on YouTube when it comes to magic. So if you guys have any questions, please put them down below. And please do not forget to check out Soul Feel. And not only that, I just want to thank you guys so much for being here and being patient with me and also making different sponsorships and stuff like this possible because none of this would be possible if it wasn't for you guys thank you for being part of the wolf pack everybody and if you are not part of the wolf pack you can subscribe down below and join the wolf pack and if you guys want to be notified about my videos make sure you click that little bell next to the subscribe button because apparently YouTube won't always notify you unless you have the little bell but yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. One of my next videos is going to be on something, but next um, wearing magic video is probably going to be on tattoos, which I think would be very interesting. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know down below. I'm finally done with this video. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye and blessed be.